Matt Knight is educated. I'm a graduate from the University of Indianapolis with a degree in political science with minors in history and information systems. Qualified. I also got my A plus certification about two years back in November of 2017. And experienced. His resume showcases internships, involvement, and more. But years after graduation, he can't find a job. He's kept track over the years of how many times he's tried. I've applied to over 2,000 jobs. Matt, who has high functioning autism, can only put his finger on one thing that may be holding him back. I just come off as a little maybe cold and detached in the interview or maybe just nervous in the interview. I I'm pretty sure it's the interview. He's worked with career coaches and has been offered a handful of jobs in call centers, but he wants a meaningful career. When it comes to me and people like me, we're hardworking, we're dedicated, we tend to think outside the box, and especially for someone like me who is very conscientious, we tend to get the job right. We, I mean, it's always our goal to try to get the job right first and then try to address any problems that we have later. So we try to get it we try to do the job as fast and as accurately as possible. His former professor James Fuller says those are all qualities Matt exudes. I know him to be punctual, always present, always on time, always got his work done, and a hard worker who will, when he doesn't understand something, will try to figure it out. In the meantime, Matt is looking forward to the day his future employer tells him you're hired. I think at the end of the day, autism, even though it's definitely becoming more and more prevalent and I think it's there's still a problem when it comes to there's still a barrier in terms of understanding when it comes to people like me and potential employers.